Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. So today is our last grammar practice. Um, we're focusing again on standard L.5.1, which says demonstrate command of the conventions of standard English grammar and usage when writing or speaking. So our focus today is on pronouns and antecedents. Pronouns. So a pronoun is a word that can function by itself as a noun phrase and that refers either to the participants in the sentence or to someone or something mentioned elsewhere in the sentence. It also takes the place of a noun or nouns. Some examples of pronouns include I, me, my, mine, myself, you, your, yours, yourself, yourselves, he, him, his, himself, she, her, hers, herself, it, its, itself, we, us, our, ourselves, ours, they, them, their, theirs, and themselves. Long list, I know, but we'll use it later on. So antecedents. Antecedents. Um, an antecedent or referent is the noun or nouns to which the pronoun refers. A pronoun and its antecedent must agree in number and gender. So some rules for pronouns and antecedents. Before you use a pronoun, ask yourself whether the antecedent is singular or plural. If the antecedent is singular, decide whether it is masculine, feminine, or neutral. Choose a pronoun that agrees. So some examples. In the following sentences, the antecedents are underlined once and the pronouns are underlined twice. So the first example. Victoria went with Jinx to practice square dancing. She helped her practice. Victoria and Jinx are your antecedents. She and her are the pronouns. The next example. Four students ate some lunch. They all thought it tasted good. Students and lunch are your antecedents. They and it are your pronouns. So let's do some practice. You're going to underline each antecedent once and the pronoun twice. So what I want you guys to do is identify the antecedent and the pronoun. So number one, Jinx left some music at the office. It was on a CD. Number two, the students did not want to dance. They liked the trampoline. Number three, the sky grew cloudy and it threatened to rain. Number four, Nate made a great catch and it impressed the coach. Let's check our work. So our answer is Jinx, Jinx left some music at the office. It was on a CD. We should have identified music as our antecedent and it as the pronoun. Number two, the students did not want to dance. They liked the trampoline. Students is our antecedent. They is the pronoun. Number three, the sky grew cloudy and it threatened to rain. Sky is our antecedent, it is the pronoun. And number four, Nate made a great catch and it impressed the coach. Catch is the antecedent, it is the pronoun. So some more practice. Circle the correct pronoun or pronouns in parentheses to complete each sentence. The antecedent of each pronoun is underlined to help you. Number one. The square dancers were very good and blank smiled for the camera. Number two, the girl talks with the gym teacher and becomes friends with blank. Is it him or he? Number three, people can practice sports but may never be good at blank. Is it they or them? And number four, the girl kept a journal and blank tells of her experiences. Is it it or they? Let's check our work. Number one, the square dancers were very good and they smiled for the camera. Number two, the girl talks with the gym teacher and becomes friends with him. Number three, people can practice sports but may never be good at them. And number four, the girl kept a journal and it tells of her experiences. Some more practice. 
So write a pronoun to replace each underlying noun or noun phrase. Number one, when Josh danced with Jinx, Josh got a bruise. So what can re replace Josh? Number two, Cody had forgotten Chelsea was, invite, was visiting until Chelsea knocked on his door. What can we, we replace Chelsea with? Number three, the team needed another player, so the team convinced Chelsea to play. What can we, we replace the team with? And number four, Chelsea scored four runs and the team thanked Chelsea. Again, what can we replace Chelsea with? Let's check our work. Number one, when Josh danced with Jinx, Josh got a bruise. We can replace Josh with he. So our sentence would say, when Josh danced with Jinx, he got a bruise. Number two, Cody had forgotten Chelsea was visiting until Chelsea knocked on his door. Um, we can replace Chelsea with she. So our sentence would say, Cody had forgotten Chelsea was visiting until she knocked on his door. Number three, the team needed another player, so the team convinced Chelsea to play. We would replace the team with they. So our sentence would say, the team needed another player, so they convinced Chelsea to play. And number four, Chelsea scored four runs and the team thanked Chelsea. We would replace Chelsea with her. So our sentence would say, Chelsea scored four runs and the team thanked Chelsea. So that's the end of our lesson for today. This should help you with your worksheets on pronouns and antecedents. And we hope you have a great day.